Planet Dolan. From organs and fried chicken to uncooked pizza, we count 12 fast food fails. Yeah, yeah, what's up, YouTube fans? Spring of the one in the building. How we doing today? Hey, guys, I got some crazy new content for your face. So here we go. Number 12. Most people know that chicken must be cooked well done before it's safe to eat. The people who must know that are the cooks in restaurants. Unfortunately, the cooks at PFK, Quebec's Canada versions of Kentucky Fried Chicken, must have decided to skip class the day they taught how to properly cook chicken. The chicken in this customer sandwich is raw. It's like they took the patty out of the package and slapped it right out on the bun, making it all kinds of funky. Too bad the customer discovered the raw chicken after taking a bite. Number 11. A fast food staple is the burger. Whether it's with or without the cheese, everyone has their preference, but it's unclear what this particular customer wanted. He got a burger from McDonald's with cheese. Nothing unusual until you see where the cheese was placed. While the burger came intact, the cheese slice wound up separate. It's almost like the employees quickly realized the customer wanted a cheeseburger and just threw a slice in with it. It's like they were saying, he's a craft single, figure it out. Number 10. When Wendy's founder and CEO Dave Thomas died in 2002, it was a sad time for the franchise. Some Wendy's restaurants even gave him a final farewell by spelling out something like, we will miss you on their outdoor signs. This particular restaurant put a nice little farewell on their sign that read, in memory of Dave, we will miss you. A nice sentiment becomes a little awkward when just below it goes on to say, now hiring. Obviously a founder and CEO wasn't flipping burgers as the sign implied. Regardless, it's understandable. Restaurants can't have a death get in the way of serving bags of greasy food. I mean, they're gonna die anyways. Number nine. The difference between chicken and beef are painfully obvious. One is lean, the other not so much. So what's up with the wording on this box from White Castle? The patty is made with all white meat chicken and 100% beef? Is that it? If that's the case, it's doubtful you can taste a hybrid meat patty with the other toppings included. But seriously, either it's one or the other. Number eight. Kentucky Fried Chicken makes another appearance on this list. But this fail took place at a restaurant in England. When a college student ordered a box meal, he found something disturbing and downright disgusting. No, it wasn't a rat. It was what happened to be a brain. Luckily, he saw the organ before it took a bite and wrote a complaint on KFC's website. It was determined by experts that it wasn't a brain, but a chicken kidney. Not that it makes it any less disgusting. Though the student was given multiple apologies and coupons for free food, he vowed to never eat at a KFC again. Number 7. McDonald's is one of the most popular fast food restaurants in the world, but that doesn't mean that they're not prone to fails. Hell, this is already their second appearance on this list. Anyways, a McDonald's restaurant at an undisclosed location apparently sells 10 pound bags of ice for a dollar. Nothing wrong there, as it's actually a good deal, until you take a peek at the sign advertising it. The design of the sign makes it seem like they're selling 10 pound bags of mice for a dollar. Are they trying to sell food to not only humans, but their pet cats too? Number 6. Two of the risk factors for diabetes is consuming too much sugar and being overweight. With these facts, it would seem logical that fast food restaurants would be partially responsible for it. Maybe this Wendy's thought they were and tried to launch some sort of campaign to stop it. Yet, the sign says to go ahead and buy five milkshakes for a dollar. If they tried to imply their milkshakes are so healthy that you can binge on them without gaining weight, then they failed miserably. But hey, I'd buy some too for a dollar. Number 5. It's a common fact that smoking pot makes you super hungry. Another common fact is that stoners will visit fast food restaurants to satisfy their intense cravings. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, anybody? You know, you know. This Taco Bell understands all that, plus they're completely for legalizing pot. Not sure how many customers are against the legalization of pot, though fast food places might get a big boost in sales. If there are many loyal customers against legalizing pot, then this Taco Bell might lose them. Though the photo itself might be photoshopped, it's easy to believe the photo is real simply because of all the fails associated with fast food itself. Number 4. Pizza is a favorite among many. It's easy to order one, have it delivered, and dive right in. The slices are also evenly cut, uh, usually. We don't know where this pizza even came from, but we do know that one of the slices is the odd man, uh, slice out. Even if the customer asked that something like this be created for whatever reason, it's hard to know how such a pizza was made. Of course, it could also be some sort of optical illusion we're just not able to get past. Ooh Number 3. Pizza Hut offers its customers a hot dog crust, which has small slices of hot dog baked in the crust. One hungry customer decided to order one, and when he received it, it looked like something from Papa Murphy's or Papa John's. 
Saying the pizza was undercooked is being generous. It almost looks like a dessert pizza, with the middle looking like it has chocolate syrup, marshmallows, and other sweet ingredients mixed in. That is, until you take a peek at the crust itself. At least you expect an uncooked pizza from Papa Murphy's or Papa John's. Maybe the Papa Murphy and Papa John's in the area, assuming they are, give their customers cooked pizzas. Who knows? What I do know is that Papa John's do sometimes uncook their dang pizza, and it makes me throw up right afterwards. Number 2 Subway is popular for submarine sandwich lovers, especially those who enjoy their footlong subs. Most people have had a footlong, a long, juicy, thick sub sandwich that is of course. 10 customers in 2013 went to Subway for a footlong sub, however, claimed there was a problem with the beloved sandwich. That problem had to do with the sandwich being an inch off a foot. That's right, those customers claimed that Subway was slapping meat and cheese on an 11 inch bun when it should have been 12 inches long. In other words, they felt Subway was giving them less food than what they were paying for. Subway ended up settling the lawsuit and began measuring the length of their sandwich buns to make sure they weren't cheating customers. And damn right I want my 12 inches, not no dang 11 inch. Number 1 A lot of people don't get salads from fast food places. They prefer burgers and fries instead of lettuce and croutons. But one woman in northern Arizona, when she ordered a salad from Burger King, discovered something in her salad that was much worse than a moldy crouton. It was a razor blade that somehow fell into the salad while it was being prepared. How an employee accidentally dropped the razor blade in a meal while preparing it is a mystery. Luckily, the woman found the razor blade in time and the employee was fired. That particular Burger King still has no idea what that employee was doing with the razor blade in the food prep area, especially since they are prohibited in said area. She was probably ready to knife somebody up. You better give me that wabba! Alright guys, new question of the day. What's the most desperate thing you've done to save money? Let us know on the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. Take care everybody, much love and appreciation, peace. Have you ever seen a turkey hooker? And no, it's not what you might be thinking. It's an actual cooking utensil. We weren't about to make a joke about the bird on the street corner that's strutting its stuffing. I get it. Hope you guys got that one.